If you are using Google Search Console tool to fix the indexing and crawling issues on your website and you found lots of pages are listed under excluded pages, then how I am going to fix it? Why these pages are listed under excluded pages? So means there are several reasons for search engines to exclude a page from its index. But today in this video, I am going to focus only about how to fix the duplicate pages which are excluded by the search engines. So you might get the error like duplicate without user selected canonical and duplicate Google choose different canonical than user and duplicate submitted URL not selected as canonical. So watch till until the end of the video I'm going to tell you about one secret tip how to find the duplicate issues duplicate pages on your website within two minutes. So if you are new to my channel, I am Ish, search engine marketer and do you love to watch about more videos about page speed optimization and how to make your website more user friendly and search engine friendly and drive traffic for your website then subscribe to this channel and ask your questions, give your feedback and make the channel more engaging. Let's get into the video. by explaining what is canonical issue sometimes on your website unintentionally you may have one or more different URL for pointing to the same page this may due to some instances like www or non www version or HTTP or HTTPS version or trialing slash or without trialing slash or some query parameter in all these cases, you are having the same content, but the URL is going to be different. In the eye of search engines, these seems like a duplicate content. So you have to tell explicitly tell the search engines, hey, this is my this is my preferred version and this is my original version, and these are my um, duplicate versions duplicate versions of this URL but this is my original version so I have to tell the original version to the search engines for this we are using the canonical tag so on every duplicate pages you have to mention your preferred version so the link link element rel, relation canonical and href and your URL in this case, this URL seems to be your preferred version and the canonical URL. It's a virtual URL. When search engines crawling this page, uh, you, you are telling the search engines, hey, what the page you are crawling is a duplicate page and this is my original version. So you have to tell the search engines explicitly uh, on every duplicate pages which is your original page the canonical URL so sometimes if the user forgot to tell the canonical URL then you may get the error duplicate without user selected canonical so while inspecting this page you can find under the indexing user declared canonical as none so user has not desired not declared any canonical URL so the solution for this is you have to declare your canonical URL. Sometimes Google Google itself takes some other canonical URL and it shows the URL. You can inspect the URL and if you are okay with that, you can use that same URL as a user declared URL. Or else, if you find the page is not value to a user, you are going it's it's not valuable for your website means you can remove that page nothing to bother about this issue and the number two issue duplicate Google choose different canonical than user in this case a user has declared the canonical URL but Google has chosen some other URL as a canonical the search engines are getting wiser they can choose which one it's going to be a uh, original version for this URL so if you are okay with that URL you can change the 
your canonical URL as a Google declared URL, canonical URL, or otherwise you want to you want some other URL to be a canonical URL, then you need to send a stronger signal. Google is not taking that URL as a canonical. So you need to send stronger signal to that page to take as the canonical URL. And that means you have you, have, you check, make sure you have added the link element and canonical attribute, or otherwise you can set three not one redirection. And set stronger signal to make the search engines to take your version of your page as a canonical page. The next issue is duplicate submitted URL not selected as canonical. In this case, if you inspect that page, in indexing, you could find um, some user declared canonical or else Google declared canonical. Whatever it may be the cases, if you inspect that URL, you could understand, uh, you could, if you check the source code, you could understand what is the canonical URL that you indicated on that page. Or otherwise, you can use the search operator info colon and the particular URL and to check whether um, what URL is taken as the original URL by Google. So by using the search operator info colon, you can identify which URL the Google is taking as the original version. By inspecting these elements, you can make sure uh, what URL is you can use as your canonical URL. And if you find that page as a duplicate page, and don't forget to add the exclude the duplicate page from your sitemap. So because Google don't want to scroll again. So make sure to exclude that URL from your sitemap, depending upon your situation. It's, it all depends. So analyze your URL and inspect it and use the info colon search operator and check what URL the Google is taking as a preferred URL. So analyze and take the decision. And these are the four different ways to tell the search engines that you are canonical URL. You can tell by adding the link tag attribute rel as canonical and using HTTP header. Most of the cases in HTTP header, we use it for PDF files. So whenever you're using PDF file, if it is duplicate, then you can declare the uh, duplicate as a rel canonical in your HTTP header. And the next way is by using XML sitemap and also by using 301 redirection. And my secret tip to find the duplicate content on your website within two minutes is to use the search operator site colon and the domain name. By using this operate search operator, you could find all the pages indexed on by the search engines and you can understand how Google is indexing your pages and your site architecture, whether uh, it's indexing some duplicate pages or not. Is there duplicate pages on your website and the Google is indexing or not? So I hope you learn new things from this video. And if you find it useful, please subscribe to this channel and ask your questions, make the channel more engaging. See you on another useful video. Until then, this is A.